huge day here at Built Tune Race, everybody. We got the new engine for Salty in the back of the truck. It's late. I had to pick it up at the dock earlier today. We got a huge storm moving in, so we need to get that thing out of the truck and into the shop. So we're gonna get this thing backed up and see if we can snag this thing out of there. It's on a pallet. It's a big old box from Borowski Race Engines. And uh, we'll get it opened up and we'll talk about what it is as soon as we can get it inside. So this is a pretty cool deal that they actually put this little like shock watch deal. So if anything were to happen to the engine, like fall over and get hit or dumped or anything in transit, that thing would light up red, we'd know about it. So pretty sweet, huge things to these guys. I mean, everything was awesome. Texting me throughout the, them getting it loaded and sending me pictures of the whole thing. And uh, it's just been an awesome experience. Can't wait to get this thing unloaded and check it all out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut off. The straps, get the box off of it. And then hopefully we can grab it with the engine lift that Alex is uh, getting dialed in. Oh boy. Oh, oh, what a tease. It's all sealed up. Well, I guess we'll have to get a little bit further out before we see much there. There it is. Oh, boy. No, not quite. So now we just got to get this thing slid from there to there. Try to grab it with that and get it in the shop. All right, so we got to unwrap it so we can get to the bolt holes. So let's see what we got. All right, so I think that's going to work. We should be able to grab it by there or there or right there or there and get this thing pulled out of here but ooh, we got some things going on in there we're just going to try to get it loosened on the pallet and then slide it up a little bit more and snag on the engine got to figure out our bolt hole grabbers what sucks is it's even higher on the pallet if it was down on the thing so we got to be way up we're see close if this is right gonna work. Actually hook it up. We're gonna see where we're at. Get some tension. Try to get it off the bolt so we can get it off the pallet. Like butter. Go ahead. Okay. Now <gasps> put your hands on the motor. Yeah. Bring her, <laughs> bring her down as much as possible. Yep. Welcome home. Yes, sir. There you go. Done. Just like that. All right, so we spun it around so we get a better look at everything. I'm going to get it mostly unwrapped, but we are still grinding on the Camaro and got a bunch of dust and all the crap all over the place on Salty, so this is going to need to get covered back up, but luckily, in that big old box outside, Alex had a great idea. We'll just stick it back in the corner, put the box over it, cover it up and everything, and then it'll kind of keep it sealed while we finish all the grinding and bodywork and all the crap on this thing. Now we'll do it again. Starting to get a look at it. Man, I am so freaking excited, guys. It's been a long time coming. I've had this thing on order for quite a while. Browski knocked out the short block really quick, but we were waiting on parts for the heads and everything else and parts pieces and uh finally got everything together there's like a 12 plus week lead time on just the titanium valves in this thing well, how everything kind of came about is a pretty neat deal with everybody involved the heads castings came from john at cid they went to caesar they got ported martin helped spec out all the valve train and cam and then after everything was ready to go it all got shipped to borowski they built a short block and went ahead and assembled the whole long block so a cool collaboration between everybody to come up with something pretty special for Salty. So what we have here is a 427 cubic inch Dart LS Next SHP Pro Block, Cali's Ultra Enforcer Rods, Cali's Magnum Crank with the Diamond 2000 horsepower pistons. So this thing is built for about 2000 horsepower, a good 1800 wheel is what we're hoping to make with it, which would be close to right at the 2000 rated. Uh, with everything in this, we should have no problem making it. There's a ton of people going extremely, extremely fast with a combo like this. As far as the top end on this engine, we have the CID LS7s. This thing is uh, set up pretty much as extreme hydraulic roller as you want to go with still maintaining all the drivability and usability of this thing with doing the drag and drive. I didn't want to go with like a solid roller after be messing with all the lash and all that stuff at every race. So I wanted something super reliable, super easy to fire up, super easy to drive and hopefully can propel this unit into the four second range and the sevens 
while driving it pretty much anywhere I want to go. And then as far as the cam goes, you can see it right here on the back. We got the Smallwood Race Development Cam. Martin came on board to help spec out the cam for this deal. John helped me get in touch with him. He helped me spec out the cam. He also works with Caesar really closely, so they helped me spec out the whole top end for this deal. And uh, I think it's gonna be incredible. They recommended going with just a stock style LS7 rocker arm. That Borowski helped me put the trunnion kit in so Alex and I don't have to do trunnion kits like we had to on Bernie. So all that's already done. All the port work on these heads, which is incredible. I'm gonna toss up some pictures because unfortunately I didn't get to see the underside, but I got some pictures along the way. Caesar at CT Porting did all the port work on this thing, softened the chambers, titanium intake valves, link in canal exhaust valves, just crushed it. This is just such a killer setup for the top end. It's almost unreal. I almost can't believe that I have a combo like this for my own build. It's pretty wild and I'm super, super stoked. And then to finish off the cam kit, we have some Johnson lifters. That was a uh, hard pill to swallow for the cost of those units, but I said, whatever you guys recommend to make sure that this thing is good to go, let's go for it. So it has some really, really nice Johnson lifters in the top of this thing. I'll probably put all the specs from the build in the description below. Just so if you guys want to see it, kind of look at it. And if you end up wanting to build something like this, uh, you'll be able to check it all out. But there it is. There is Salty's new Borowski short block built CID headed Dart LS Next engine. So we still got some more stuff coming. Obviously intake. I actually have one part of the intake waiting for the next part. I'm going to give you guys a hint. It's from CID and it's going to be rowdy. It's such a cool setup. But now we just need to get this thing ready to go for that thing to go in it. As you guys can see, we've got a long ways to go, but all the big stuff is showing up and we hopefully can try to make it do everything we can. Turbos are on their way and we're probably gonna be seeing those any day now. So I'll be updating you guys with those as soon as I get them. I definitely wanna say a huge thank you to each of the companies that helped with this whole setup and uh, it's gonna be killer and I can't wait to get out and show you guys what this thing can do and the power it can make and hopefully the times we can run with this in this unit. I appreciate everybody's support in watching the videos and supporting what we do here and the builds we're doing and hopefully we get to go racing real real soon. So make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video.